is why today I learn English. American take for brain. Just your studies break for less of 14. Let's go. Hello everybody, welcome to lessons today. I'm Ryan Stark. In this last lesson, we're going over social studies book for lesson 14. Getting near the ending of the book. And lesson 14 is all about our earth. Lesson 14, various land firms. Well, you will discover some different types of land firms and land firms in the U.S., right? Of course, the U.S. is the United States. Well, by the way, this picture you can see, this is the Rain Canyons. And actually, in my childhood, just some time, not entire of my childhood, but some of my childhood, I grew up in Arizona and my parents used to live there. It's not far to the Rain Canyon, it's a very impressive sight. If you get a change to go to those Rain Canyon, I recommend it, okay? Let's start with the vocabulary part here. We have the word is land form. I mentioned that in the introduction of this lesson. What's a land form? Well, of course, it has two words. Two words were combined to make one. And we know what land is. Land, of course, is the earth. You know, look around, you see the land forms. Of course, it means shapes. So the land has many different shapes, right? It's a shape on the surface of the earth. And of course, we can see that you look around and you can see mountains. Well, that's the shape of the land, right? That's a particular shape of the land. That's a land form. Sometimes you see just very even, just very flat, called those planes, right? And that is another type of land form. Well, land form is the shape of the surface of the earth, right? Oh, let's take a look to the next word. Here we have, it's stretch. Stretch means to reach out, and the reason we're looking at this word here is because like such as, you know, sometimes you have planes, that's the land for it. But if you look out across these planes, the land seems to stretch out forever, right? It's to reach out, to stretch out, right? Well, of course, you might stretch up in the morning, or maybe if you're tired, you reach your arms out, right? Well, stretch out means just to reach out. Also means to pull or to go on forever. To seem to stretch out. And that's what the picture is showing us. Well, do you know what is the plane stretching to? It's stretching to the horizon here. Horizon is right like this. Horizon. Here, the new words here is weather land meets the sky. That's the horizon. So, stretch out to the horizon, okay? Next word we will have to talk about is already mountains. Now, mountains. Also, add another word to mountain, we'll have mountain range. So, what's the difference between mountain and mountain range? Well, if you look at the mountain over here, it might just be one mountain. Just, there's, maybe, look at the mountain. There's just one lonely mountain, right? Just small mountains sitting out there. But if there's mountains, not alone. If there's a lot of mountains and they all rose, right? They all seem to be in line. There's another mountains, a bunch of mountains behind those. We call those mountain ranges. So mountain range is a series of mountains. It's not just one mountain coming, but many, many mountains coming together. It's made a mountain range. Okay, remember, mountain range is a series of mountains coming and falling, each other spreading the words. There are many famous long mountain ranges. Okay, our next word here we have is golf. Golf is another type of land form. Even though we're talking about wires, still you know the shape of the land and the wires. Well, you see, here's an area of water that is partly surrounded by land. Partly just mean that it doesn't surround it all the way through, right? But it just ran in a small part. Here we have is a piece of water. Well, the land just um around like this, right? It is a gulf, and there's many beautiful gulf, right? So just this mystical gulf. And inside of those gulf, they can usually make those lakes, those ponds, right? 
but usually it will be connected to the wall by a small part, by a small piece. Here's um, Mexico, right? You can see. But as you can see, that is open to the Atlantic Ocean. So the Gulf of Mexico on the Atlantic Ocean. There's no land between them, so it's not of oceans, right? And of course, you can see over here, Gulf of California is very similar, right? Because California is coming from here. This is Mexico, of course. Mexico is the red. Mexico is over here. And you can see some oceans up into the Pacific Ocean. It's not completely surrounded. It's just a partly surrounded land. Okay, our next word here I have is located. We'll talk about locations, right? And of course, location is a noun. Located is a um, verb. Something's right being or existing in a certain place. Well, maybe your house is located next to your school, right? We can say located, right? That means that something is not right here. It is located in this place. Okay, well, let's look at our chart here. Landforms. Okay, our first word is peninsula. Well, peninsula is a part of land that is surrounded by water. But it's not always surrounded by, right? Well, remembering that maybe here we have. Okay, well, here you look at it. You can see here's a land, right? Maybe this is a part of land. And all the way around it is waters, okay? Well, there's a part of here coming out. Well, you see, this is or peninsula. Well, all around it is waters, you see, right? But there's a part here, you see. There's no waters in this part. Well, this is way out, is this peninsula. Well, usually peninsula will be coming from those bigger parts, or maybe those islands, right? Usually you will see there's a part of land coming out, and this is the peninsula, okay? Well, that's peninsula. A part of land that's been partly surrounded by water. Our next word here I have is valley. Valley, if you see those mountains, right? Those mountains. Like these, and then these. But if you look there, this red part here is the valleys. This is the land where those mountains meet at the bottom there, right? On the land. Well, this is valleys. Okay, next is a hill. Well, a hill is a kind of like a high kind of land. but that's not a height. Heights are mountains, right? Holes are just bigger part. That's here, right? It's smoothly being coming up, right? There you go, and there it ends up being on the land again, just like this is the land. There, the land is here, right? And then. Actually, there is a part of land coming up like this. This is a hill. Usually, you see it small like this, but sometimes it can be very big, as like this. Right, but it's not as big as a mountain. And usually, those mountains made out of rocks. Those hills just made out of dirt and sand. Okay, well, that's hill. Next is islands. You see, there's a part of land around. This is the part of land. There's a part of land like this coming up, right? But the land isn't connected to any parts of any land. It is being divided up, right? And now all the way around it is waters. All the way around, it, you see, right? It's waters. There's just this small island being on the waters all around it. You see, are just waters, right? This being lonely, and it isn't 
connecting to any part of the wires, right? That is an island. You see, there's Hawaii, right? A very, very, very famous island. You know, very beautiful. Next is mountains. You know, I've said before, mountain is the highest kind of landforms. Let's say in plants. And the last one is plane. If you look, you maybe you think that a plane can even touch to a horizon, right? That's really, really far. If you're from a place of the plane, you can look really far away because there's no trees or even no weeds on the plane. There's weeds, but there's no flowers and big trees there, right? So you can see through very easily. Well, those are plants. Well, coming to our next chart, landforms of the U.S. Well, map, you remember, a map key is some kind of a gears or some of things about those. Places, right? Well, let's look at our map here. What do we have? Well, let's look. The purple part are mountains. Highlands are brown. Plains are, of course, green. And great plains, those very, very big plains are yellow. Okay, let's see. Mountains, highland plants, and great plants. Well, now let's go. I will teach you how to find a part on the land. If I say, find for me the part of the mountains, well, you need to look at the mountain and see what color is it. Its color is purple. Okay, well, that's purple. Now, let's find the land part that's purple. I will just find in one part, right? This part there. There are the small parts. Well, this is the part that has those mountains because it is purple, right? It is a part of the mountains. Well, just things like that. It is really easy to look at those mountains. Well, what if I said, find for me the heartland? You can just see, Hotland is brown. I can see it's there. There. And there on the map. Right? Well, those are Hotlands. Okay? Well, what if I tell you to find those straight plains? There is the whole big part. Right? There you go. I'm not tracing it. It's kind of like pretty bad tracing, but you know, this is the ray plants. And the plants are right next to the ray plants, right over there. Oops, me. It didn't work out so much, but you just see those are those plants, right? And nearly plants are everywhere in the US, right? That's the biggest part. Well, here, it doesn't include this part. Well, this is the plains of those land verbs, okay? Well, let's come to our next part, our chart. North America continent has different kinds of land verbs. The Great Canyon are in Central North America, in the North America, and in the Central of North America. The rocky something are to the west of the rape plants. The rocky hills? Yes. The something of Mexico is located between the U.S. and Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico is located between the U.S. and Mexico. Each of it is the Florida. Peninsula, right? Well, let's read again. The North American continent has different kinds of land verbs. The rate, the rate, the rate plains are in Central North America. The Rocky Mountain ranges are to the west of the rate plains. The Wolf of Mexico is located between the U.S. and Mexico. Each of it is the Florida Peninsula. Okay.
Well, today we practice how to read those land verbs in the U.S. And what are some kind of land verbs in the U.S.? Okay. Well, now it's time to bye. See you next time and have a good day.